What up y'all, today we're at Super Training again and today we're trying something new with Mark Bell that I've never tried before and it's the bamboo bar, aka the earthquake bar and that thing shakes like a motherfucker and it's to help strengthen all your stabilizer muscles. So when you're benching with the barbell and you get really good at that, it becomes a smith machine motion and you never really get to work on all the itty bitty little muscles that go into strengthening your joints. So it's good to do the bamboo bar because you get to strengthen all those muscles and the stronger all your muscles are, the stronger the movement's gonna be. And this was my first time ever, so my shit was shaking like crazy, but we still went up in weight, started adding more kettlebells to each side. And you could actually do this in your home gym, but make sure you get a spot. With the bamboo bar, that thing shakes way more than a barbell though. And I had a really good time using it because after about three sets, all of my joints and pecs and shoulders got really, really pumped, but not the kind of pump where it's like super vascular, it was pumped from the inside out. It was something I never really experienced before. So it's always cool to try new things, especially when you join people. Like one of the questions that I got, since a lot of you guys know that I'm on my current program that I designed for myself, a lot of the questions that I get are, when you go visit Mark Bell at Super Training, are you gonna keep running the same program? And my answer is no, because when I'm going to visit someone new, I wanna try what they try and I wanna learn what they do, especially someone experienced as Mark Bell. But even if I visit someone that I feel like we're at similar knowledge levels, I would still do what they do because as you get more and more used to your own programming, you have a tendency to program your strengths. Even the exercises that you write to target your weaknesses, they still end up being slightly on the strength level because you're familiar with it. So having the bamboo bar, that's something that I was not even familiar with and I was so happy I got to try it because now I know if I ever have any type of misgrooving issue, I should probably practice using the bamboo bar at my home gym. After the bamboo bar, we did some overhead presses, uh, more bodybuilding style. We did sets of 12, sets of 10 for about four or five sets and then we jumped back on the bench and uh, we were just doing 225 rep outs. And uh, that was an interesting change of pace because I usually do not bench after I hit shoulders. But it was cool because now it gives itself, it gives the movement a different feeling and it almost becomes a different exercise and I was able to kind of shock my muscles again. And also because I've pre-fatigued certain muscle groups, it was that much more important for me to have that mind-muscle connection and be conscious of what I'm doing. So sometimes when you're training and that's your first movement, you're super sharp, super focused, and you're able to nail that movement. And so you, you kind of take that for granted. However, at a meet, you're usually benching after you squat or you might be tired or you might be going for fourth, fifth attempts if you're gonna break world records. And being able to pre-fatigue yourself and put yourself in a kind of uh, exhausted state and then try to nail the movement 100%, that's another great way to train. And that was something I was able to experience because I was working out with Silent Mike where he was like, hey, let's just bench after this. And I was like, fuck it, let's do it. It felt really weird, but I was still able to knock out 20 reps of 225 at the end, even though I grinded the fuck out of that shit. And then in the middle, we had uh, about three sets of 10 of photo shoots, and that was pretty cool. I was able to put on a bunch of these slingshot products and help Mark Bell uh, take some pictures. So, um, yeah, if you need a bunch of workout accessories, make sure you go to howmuchyoubench.net and you can get all your slingshot gear there. Overall, I had a really fun time working out with Silent Mike. And as you can tell, my arms are right about to be 22s. So it's really important to remain a beginner at all times and he was able to help Gio hit a PR. She hit a rep PR of two, I think like 17 for three because uh, the ending plates were kilo plates or they were a little bit off. And then uh, he wasn't able to help me because I'm just hopeless and I was tired and my squats fucking suck ass. 